We've seen a lot of musicians release one hit after another, but seldom do we see someone whose life left such a huge impact on others, such as Archie Roach. The Aboriginal musician, songwriter, and artist recently passed away at 66 after living a remarkable life. How has this artist affected the lives of others? Watch and find out in today's video to make sure you're in tune if you don't want to miss out. Archie Roach is receiving several tributes after his song, Took the Children Away, became the anthem of generations that were stolen. Archie Roach, an Indigenous Australian artist whose well-known song Took the Children Away brought the issue of the stolen generations to the public's notice, has passed away at the age of 66. After a protracted illness, Roach passed away at Warrnambool Base Hospital in the company of his loved ones. His sons Amos and Eben Roach stated on behalf of the Roach family saying, we are heartbroken to announce the passing of Gunditjmara, Kure Wurrung, Jab Wurrung, Bunjalung Senior Elder, songman and storyteller Archie Roach. They also expressed their gratitude for the entire crew for looking after the musician throughout the previous month. According to his kids, Archie wanted every one of his devoted followers to know how grateful he is that they have stood with him throughout the years. They also described their father as a healer and a unifying force who used music to bring people together and expressed how proud they are of everything he accomplished in his remarkable life. On July 30th, tributes to the singer-songwriter started to flood social media. Anthony Albanese, the Prime Minister, said, Tonight we mourn the passing of Archie Roach. Our country has lost a brilliant talent, a wonderful and prolific national truth teller. He also added, Archie's music drew from a well of trauma and pain, but it flowed with a beauty and a resonance that moved us all. We grieve for his death, we honor his life, and we hold to the hope that his words, his music, and his indomitable spirit will live on to guide us and inspire us. But what's the story behind the song took the children away about. Took the Children Away was a track from Roach's 1990 first album, Charcoal Lane, an incredibly successful artistic career that included nine studio albums, a soundtrack, 2002's The Tracker, multiple live albums and compilations was established, defined, and to some extent overshadowed by the song. As a companion record to his autobiography, Roach's album, Tell Me Why, debuted in the nation's top 10 in November 2019. What else has Archie Roach accomplished that has had such a large-scale effect. In addition to being a political force and leader, Roach worked relentlessly to highlight the injustices faced by Indigenous Australians and their history. For his contributions to music and social justice, he was named a member of the Order of Australia in 2015. In 2020, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame of the Australian Recording Industry Association. He performed while having his medical staff and an ambulance on standby because he was critically ill at the time of his induction. Now let's take a look back at Archie Roach's humble beginnings that led him to become the man that he is known for today. Roach, the youngest of seven siblings, was born on January 8, 1956 in Murupna, a village in the center of Victoria. His father, Archie Roach Sr., was a Bunjalung from the north coast of New South Wales, and his mother, Nellie Austin, was a Gunjitmara from southwest Victoria. Roach and two of his sisters were kidnapped from their parents by force when they were four years old while living on Austin. Austin's ancestors land in Framlingham. They were then divided into welfare workers. Before settling in Melbourne with Scottish immigrants Alex and Dulcie Cox, he was placed in two foster homes. The Coxes were informed that the parents of their adopted boy had perished in a house fire. Roach briefly attended a Pentecostal church while in school, where he learned hymns and was introduced to the music of Hank Williams, but later described them as blameless and that his adoptive parents were used. Both would have a significant impact on his art, which has a gospel flavor. As a teenager, Roach's life altered forever upon knowing of his biological mother's passing and after he met Ruby Hunter. At age 15, he learned about his birth mother's passing through a letter from another sister named Myrtle. Roach never saw his adoptive parents again after leaving to look for the rest of his brothers. He met Ruby Hunter, another young member of the Stolen Generations, while he was staying in the Salvation Army People's Palace during a stay in Adelaide. Hunter and Roach grew close and had two boys together. Together. But as they alternated between Victoria and South Australia for the following 15 years, their lives were marred by drinking and homelessness. Roach attempted suicide once, but pulled through due to severe epilepsy. Hunter momentarily left him after that. This served as the impetus for Roach to change his life. Now a changed man, Archie Roach channeled all of his feelings into songwriting instead of being self-destructive, and it made all the difference in his life. Roach stated in his autobiography that, Empathy was my motive. 
all of it went into his songwriting, which was starting to take off. On January 25th, 1988, he debuted Took the Children Away at a bicentennial protest in Sydney. He stated, People were stunned. Women were crying. Men had their heads bowed, shoulders heaving. The lyrics referred to Fromlingham in southwest Victoria, where Archie resided with his family before being taken away and ultimately forced to live with a Scottish family in Melbourne. An ominous they stand for the welfare and the policeman in the lyrics. He sang, We'll give them what you can't give. Teach them how to really live. Teach them how to live, they said. Humiliated them instead. Taught them that and taught them this, and others taught them prejudice. Roach was astounded since he had no idea that so many others in the audience had a similar family history to his. He received an invitation to perform on ABC Radio National and afterward on Blackout on television. After seeing this performance, Paul Kelly invited Roach to open for him at the Melbourne Concert Hall, which today is known as Hamer Hall. Kelly's band's late guitarist Steve Connolly saw this performance. Kelly's opening performance by Roach, a two-song set, had an equally dramatic effect on the primarily white audience. The audience was silent as Roach finished singing Took the Children Away, but as he started to leave, they all started to applaud. Later, Kelly and Connolly produced Roach's debut album, Charcoal Lane, which included the song Down City Streets by Hunter. Fellow musicians have sung praises about Archie Roach's uncanny ability to stir emotions and unify his listeners, but many believe it's because he sang and wrote based on his experience. Few individuals had Archie's impact or reach when it came to social justice and Indigenous care, according to Australian musician and Boomerang Festival director Rhonda Roberts. In a 2018 address, Roberts stated that the late musician had a cultural obligation to use the power of music and narrative to connect, communicate, and heal to forge a better, more cohesive, culturally respectful national story. In his writing, Archie Roach frequently addressed the trauma of invasion. Both Lighthouse and Song for Elijah, Wrap Our Arms Around You, are laments for young Indigenous males who passed away under terrible conditions. Roach performed on tour in Australia and abroad with musicians like Leonard Cohen, Billy Bragg, and Bob Dylan. The epidemic altered his plans for his final Australian tour, which was scheduled for 2020. In its place, he gave Facebook audiences a live performance from his kitchen, published a book and teaching materials based on Took the Children Away to educate young people about the stolen generation, and won two ARIA awards for his album Tell Me Why. For his contribution to the industry, Archie Roach received several accolades and continued to be acknowledged for years to come. However, his health started to decline during the last decade. Roach won the ARIAs for Best Indigenous Release and Best New Act after the album was certified gold. A 1992 International Human Rights Achievement Award was given to Took the Children Away. Following the national apology to the stolen generations by then Prime Minister Kevin Rudd, on February 13, 2008, he gave the song a live performance at Federation Square in Melbourne. Roach has been ill for the past 10 years. He suffered a stroke after Hunter passed away in 2010. Even though he recovered well and resumed performing live only six months later, he was shortly diagnosed with lung cancer and underwent the removal of half a lung. He had already sacrificed a kidney for one of his brother's unsuccessful kidney transplants. To educate young Australians about Indigenous Australia, cultural identity and the Stolen Generations, he introduced the Archie Roach Stolen Generation Educational Resources in October 2020. This free set of teaching aids was created by First Nations curriculum authors. On November 13th, 2020, a new recording of Charcoal Lane was made available. And with that, we're wrapping up today's video about the life and times of the Aboriginal musician and artist Archie Roach. Do you have a favorite song of the late artist? Let us know in the comments section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.